What's going on guys? Welcome back here on my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sasha and in today's video, we'll be talking about Instagram hashtags. So if you feel like your hashtags are not working anymore, then make sure to watch the video till the end. But now with that being said, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so after my last video on the topic has received so much positive feedback, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the topic. So a lot of you have been asking me different things about Instagram hashtags and why your hashtags are not working. And in today's video, I'm going to give you all the tips that you have to implement in order to fix that. So starting right here, the very first thing that you have to do is you have to avoid spam, hate or nudity at any point. So the problem is a lot of people have been approaching me, um, telling me that one of their postings or even multiple postings have been removed and have been flagged. Now the problem is that this might not be a permanent thing, but afterwards their reach was still limited and their hashtags were not working. And the reason for that is if you have been flagged once, then you're kind of on a watch list for safety reasoning. So the algorithm is extremely picky about such things. And so if you have been flagged once, then they are very careful where to put your content, where to display it and how many people actually can consume it and see it. So that might be the reason right here. And the problem even goes beyond that. So a, a lot of people have been approaching me telling me that, uh, for example, their content has been flagged because of nudity. Whilst in reality, the content that they were posting that was flagged wasn't even considered nudity. So the algorithm is not so not 100% secure when it comes to flagging such things. Mistakes can happen, especially with a machine that is coded, that is going and scanning through your content. And so that could potentially be happening. So if that is the case with your account and you're still seeing that reach drop and the hashtags not working for you, then it could be helping if you're reaching out to Instagram via the help section in your settings within the application and tell them what's not working, what's wrong and uh, kindly ask them to fix that because you have not been doing anything wrong. But now if that's not the case, then the next thing that you want to do is you want to get rid of your hashtag sets immediately. So hashtag sets are a popular way on Instagram to cut down some time. But the problem is if you're using such hashtag sets, you're actually creating a repeating pattern that the algorithm can quickly catch up with. And if it does, then it will be limiting your reach and it might be that your hashtags are not working anymore because that is considered a spammy behavior. And as we already mentioned, spam is not allowed under any circumstances on the application, on the platform, and so if that's happening, then that might be the reason why your hashtags are not working. And so the simple solution to that problem is to get rid of your hashtag sets and just put in your hashtags manually. So whenever you post new content to the platform, make sure that you're including your hashtags manually. Just think about what kind of hashtags could be matching with your content and just invest a few minutes extra time into your Instagram strategy and into your posting routine actually in order to stay spam free and also have your hashtags working instead of being flagged or banned for spamming behavior and then have your hashtags not be working. Moving on, the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you put your hashtags where they belong and that is not the comment section. So the problem right here is that the comment section is reserved for comments and engagement. And so Instagram is extremely picky about you using the platform the way it was designed. And once again, the comment section was not designed to put your hashtags in there, but instead they should be put into the actual caption of your content. But not only this, if we think about it, the main reason to put your hashtags into the comment section was to hide them from your audience because you want to have a clean and aesthetic feed. But the problem with that approach is that Instagram is not designed for you to have an aesthetic feed. And also it doesn't give you any advantage over your competitors or any other Instagram user. So it's not a secret trick to kind of grow your Instagram account and have massive reach when you're kind of looking at the aesthetics and trying to hide your hashtags. But instead the exact opposite is going to happen. If you're trying to focus on to um, having an aesthetic feed and hiding things from your audience to make it look better, then it might be that your hashtags are actually not working anymore. 
So if you want to have more reach and grow your Instagram account, you should always prioritize performance over aesthetics. And so to fix that situation, simply put your hashtags where they belong, which is the caption. The next thing that you want to do is you want to leverage external tools. So the problem with Instagram is that it is very limited when it comes to insights and analytics. So whenever you post new content, you're very limited when it comes to really understanding where it has been placed, where it, where it did appear actually, and what kind of audience you did attract with it. And so in order to fix that situation, you definitely have to rely on external tools. And one of the best ones that I have personally tested is Flick. Flick is a tool that allows you to do so many different things that Instagram doesn't allow you. For example, it gives you the very important information where your content has been appearing in the hashtags. So if you're including hashtags within your content, which I assume you do, then uh, Flick will tell you exactly for which hashtags your content has been ranking and in which section. So in the top section or in the first 50 postings, for example, and so on and so forth. So it's really easy using Flick to understand how your hashtags are actually impacting your reach and your growth. And so you can reuse them for your future content. But not only this, Flick also tells you which hashtags are banned. And so in this video right here, we talked about it already. Banned hashtags could also be causing your hashtags to not be working. The problem with Instagram is that they don't tell you right away which hashtags are banned. So it could be that you're using them by mistake, by simply not knowing it, and then your hashtags are not working and your reach is decreased because of it. So in a nutshell, Flick gives you all the tools and insights that Instagram unfortunately doesn't. So if you want to check out Flick, then make sure to go to the first link in the description. Now this is going to be an affiliate link, which means if you're deciding to subscribe to Flick, then I get a little commission off of that. But that's not going to impact the price. You pay exactly the same amount as everybody else. You're just supporting me through that. But now with that being said, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it valuable. As always, if you did so, smash the subscribe button, join the family, and I'm looking forward to see you in my next video.